Before beginning today's video, I would like to thank Ricky, Sai as well as to Kongu for your kind donations through my Buy Me A Coffee page or my YouTube Super Chat. Thank you so much for your donations. I would also like to thank the members of the channel, Boris, Valid, Dukongu, Kamenre, Telescope SFS, Everlost, Hendrik as well as Dexco Dex for supporting the channel by being the members. Mel is the god of harvest, supervising the fauna and flora through the powers of the earth and life itself. He is the founder of the mega corporation Amazon, which is the online shopping mall that receives orders and ships product using drones throughout the whole of Garden Tales itself. It was founded to achieve Kamel's goal to obtain the world's greatest financial power and Kamel has indeed achieved it. Even though Kamel is a god as well as the boss of a mega corporation, is Kamel worthy of your investments? Let us find out in today's video on how worthy is God of Harvest Kamel potentially? Kamel was once a great wizard with powerful mana and he subsequently became a deity after being blessed with divine powers. His top priority is to restore the world tree and he will stop at nothing to achieve it. He's also a ruthless businessman from Camazon that removes all competitors aggressively. He even bought the ruins of Votri with the money he earned and he opened up a part of the ruins to become the Kamazon theme park which is explored by all the players of Garden Tales. Kamel is extremely loving to his two disciples, Bari and Mariel, and he considers them his loving children. Although Mariel is especially annoyed by his attention, being the rebellious child she is. Despite loving his disciples a lot, Kamel sends the two of them on faraway journeys for unknown reasons. Based on the stats ranking of all level 83 heroes, Kamel is 3rd in terms of attack, 5th in terms of defense and 5th in terms of HP. He also has the party buff of range attack plus 50% with his own weapon skill regen speed plus 4%, a 10% shield increase on battle start as well as 6% skill damage, making him more of the most well-rounded and higher stated unit within the game. Kamel's normal attack, Circle of Life, allows him to life drain the enemy while dealing damage at the same time. On the last attack, he is also able to shoot out a concentrated orb to heal all allies HP and reduce the enemy's ranged defense by 20% for 3 seconds. So if you have his EX weapon equipped, the amount of enemies you can life drain from increases to 3 targets at the same time. His chain skill, Earthly Purification summons an elemental to do 220% DPS damage and restores ally HP by 20% and removes all negative effects. So this makes him a really really good utility hero in the team as well because he's able to heal your ally's HP from normal attack and heal even more HP and remove negative debuff based on the chain skill. His special ability, Nature's Blessing is pretty straightforward. It just increases his normal attack damage and HP recovery by 25%, making him an even more OP damage dealer as well as a healer within a team setting. His exclusive weapon increases his crit chance by 1%, his defense, HP as well as skill damage. It also allows him to attack a maximum of 3 enemies for his normal attack and also on the normal attack hit, deals 25% of DPS damage with a 50% chance to immediately reduce enemies' range defense. Additionally, there's also a weapon skill regen speed option within the additional option. His weapon skill, Earth's Jolting Wave, deals 250% DPS damage with a relatively short regen time of 7.2 seconds. So this is like a Kamehameha kind of weapon skill and it looks and behaves very similarly to Lapis weapon skill. And this weapon skill is a bit special if you have both Bari and Nari within your team, then he will summon two fairies by his side. If you have either one of them missing, then the one missing will actually be summoned in the weapon skill. And if you have both Mario and Bari not within the team itself, then two of them will both appear in his weapon skill when he utilizes it. Now moving on to the PvP aspect, in terms of the Colosseum side, Kamel is one of the up and coming meta units within the game mode itself for three simple reasons. Number one, Kamel is able to attack multiple enemies and provide life drain, making him a very sustainable range attacker. At the same time, he is also a very good damage dealer with his big AoE and long distance weapon skill, able to hit multiple enemies if he pull it off at the correct position. 
He also provides a lot of sustain in the form of heals from his normal attack as well as chain skill, making him one of the most versatile range attackers as well as utility unit if you need him be in the Colosseum. Based on the current observations, Kamel functions better in a long tanky sustain team compared to your mono damage output team. But then again, I think he's really, really flexible and he will last in the long run. So we can see more team combinations in the future as more and more powerful units are introduced into the game. Kamel is also amazing in Arena because he's a pretty tanky range attacker unit and also an amazing counter to one of the most OP unit within the game, which is Noxia in the Arena. At the same time, his weapon skill hits really hard, hits really fast, and has a very low regen time, allowing him to chain the opponent pretty easily if you master how to use his weapon skill properly. Overall, he's a really really good ranged attacker with the ranged attack party buff, making him viable in the current ranged team setup, as well as other earth team setup if you decide to use him within the arena under the earth team. Based on my personal experience, I think Kamel overall is a really good arena unit, as his attack animation is pretty fast, really smooth, life drains, has sustained, do enough damage, applies a debuff. So there's a lot of plus points to him. However, if there's one bad point I want to talk about within the arena, that will be his short attack range. So it's a bit hard to gauge how far he actually can attack because his attack range is somewhere between middle to short range. So sometimes you must go really close to your enemy. So he behaves more like a medium range attacker compared to like a long distance shooter. Now I'll showcase some arena matches of me using Kamel so you guys can have a better understanding how he fare within the game mode itself. Let us start the short arena showcase, let's go.
in terms of the PVE discussions, Pamel is definitely another SS tier unit for most PVE contents because he's able to fit into so many teams based on his skill set. He's able to become a good room clearer with his AoE attack and weapon skill, a good support with his heal debuff and party buff. He also has a good damage dealing tool in his high burst as well as high attack stats. He's also very important, in fact as important as Nari in terms of guild rate as we all know the power of range attack party buff when combined with range defense debuff in raids itself. At the same time, he heals nearly as much as Mia in terms of healing under certain circumstances and he's definitely gonna make progression within the various PV game modes much easier if you have him on your team. Below are some reasons to pull or invest in Kamel the God of Harvest. So how worthy is Kamel potentially? He is deserving of his title as a God of Harvest as he will definitely be meta upon his release with all the pros he offers as a unit. I have praised him quite a lot throughout the whole video but he is indeed an SS tier unit and it's pretty cool to see a husbando unit with such power levels after a male unit hiatus for such a long time. At the same time, I find that his design is really really cool as he seems like a badass grandpa that can beat you up while dressing in a school like uniform. Kamel is also another classic from Dungeon Link which makes him a good to have in your collection due to nostalgia reason. There's also a Maulage event going on which makes pulling for Kamel even more worthy as you are getting more Maulage tickets from pulling for him as well as his exclusive weapon. That's it for this video. Let me know down in the comment section about what you think of God of Harvest Kamel and whether or not you will pull for him although I think he's a highly sought after target. And thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like and subscribe to see more contents from this channel and do take a look at the Zebo Gaming membership page for the perks of a member and to support the channel financially. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!